So we're starting 2023 with a bang. Uh, we have been out there combing the hills and the barns and the garages, trying to find stuff to buy, and we got some stuff bought. As a matter of fact, a lot of it's showing up today. We got some bills that we just started. You're gonna start seeing those videos, but like I just said, things are showing up already, and you're gonna get a kick out of some of these things. Stop! What's up, man? I don't even know Richard. I don't know. What? Laser about 400. Gas monkey deals in cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this thing right? Oh yeah. So check this out. I'm gonna give you a little uh, detail. I had a big auction a while back with uh, all the stuff I bought at Minnesota. It's like a hundred and something motorcycles, 40 or 50 cars, a whole bunch of memorabilia, a whole bunch of everything from uh, my friend Denny up there. And we sold it all. We had to move it to Auburn, Indiana, got it all sold. And then my friends up at Auburn, Indiana just called me and told me uh, a couple of days ago that there's still like six or seven motorcycles and a car that never got picked up or paid for or whatever. So surprise, surprise. Let's see what we got in the trailer, because I have no idea what it is. Let's go for it, sir. Gonna put freaking uh, Phipps to work. Well, looks like first of all, we got ourselves a Pontiac Tempest. Le Mans, yeah. Okay, so this thing has a, a transaxle in it. It's independent rear suspension, transmission's in the back on the rear end. What do you see it up in the air? It's, okay. It's weird. Well, it's like let's a, get it off. It's like a Corvair kind of thing. Yeah, can you believe that I forgot about seven motorcycles and a car for over a year? And those people have so much room that they didn't even tell me about it. So the Denny Canterbury collection that I sold, uh, I guess it was about a year ago, um, after having to move it from Minnesota all the way to uh, Auburn, Indiana because of the COVID rules, uh, was really cool and it was really, uh, it was really, I don't know, I'm very proud that uh, Denny chose me to represent him and his family and sell the vehicles and uh, what have you. Uh, we've got the land sold finally, and uh, these were just some items that were left over from the auction. And I don't even know what's on the trailer, except for I know that's the red Pontiac Tempest. So this stuff here is just gonna be make me an offer because uh, it's left over, the sale's already over with. Uh, I figure that, uh, Whatever it's generally worth, make me a fair offer and I'll make you a deal. So go to info at Gas Monkey Garage if you see something in here that you like. Um, I can't believe that I actually forgot about seven motorcycles and a car. That's ridiculous. Okay, so this morning I pull up out here and there's this guy sitting in the parking lot and he's drinking brake fluid. What are you doing, dude? He goes, I can stop at any time. No, wrong way, wrong way. Man, this thing's nice on the inside, though. So we got ourselves a Pontiac Tempest. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> stick shift. Oh, <laughs> floor mat. What's under the hood? Here's what I know about the Pontiac Tempest. It was uh, a miniature car that they kind of thought would compete a little bit Whoa. with the uh, Mustang. And um, straight six, it looks like, or is that a four? Can you it's, just, it's like half a V8, dude, look at it. Yeah, it's half a V8. <laughs> that makes it a four stone. So, let me tell you what I know about the Pontiac Tempest. Look at the heavy V8. Nothing. Uh, I've never it? owned one of these cars. I've never had one of these cars. Please put it on the piece of shit row. If you're interested in it, please call. Hey, motorcycles. miles on it, dude. It, it's smaller than you. <laughs> that is freaking righteous, man. It's going down the road. Got the strokers. Look at that. Get a hamburger. My hair always looks good in mirrors. All right, put that up, Pips. Okay. Hey, check this out. Montgomery Wards. <laughs> How cool is this thing? This one has 4,000 miles on it. I 
I like it. I like it. Pip said that we should get some of these running and take them to Stroker's for lunch. What do you think about that, Richard? Um, no, it's too chilly today, but uh, we can play with them. This is a replica. And uh, this is pretty cool for a cafe racer back in the day. The one I'm really horned up on is this Triumph. Yeah. And, uh, but the one motorcycle that I really wanted is not here, so I gotta send the truck hey, back for it. Check this thing out, Richard. What? It says, do not exceed 100 RPM for the first. It says, do not run uphill full throttle. <laughs> Read your owner's manual. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Montgomery never... Wards. Uh, Wards. Uh, Montgomery Wards? Riverside. Look at these. Uh... Probably a sax. The motor's probably a small well, sax. All right. Yeah. Well, you got stuff to do now, Phillips. I know. I know. No, this is super cool. So we're missing the one motorcycle that I was supposed to get. Yeah. So uh, let's make sure we get air in all the tires. This one's flat. That one's off the beat. Yeah. This is, I'm telling you, this is a blast from my past. This is, I had a GPZ 550. I had this, I had an 1100 in black. So the bikes that came in are all pretty cool. It really sucks that the guy left one there and it was actually one that I really kind of wanted for myself. These were all ones that either didn't get paid for, got paid for, and got forgotten about, uh, or what have you. So uh, most of them, these two here, the Yamaha and the GPZ, I uh, got FIPS on them. They're gonna get some batteries, get some go-go juice. I bet you they fire up. Uh, this one here is just trick, trick, hill climb triumph. I mean, it's just cool looking. That is uh, gonna be probably just a piece of wall art at one of the restaurants or at the bar somewhere. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the two Dukies, but those things have uh, champion frames. Uh, they're chrome molly, really good dirt track frames, uh, really popular brands. And uh, some of the wheels and the fork setups are also pretty popular for uh, flat track. And so I'm pretty stoked on those. Uh, the Wizard, this thing is worthless. It's a knockoff. I think you can buy these things brand new for like eight or nine hundred dollars. And then this is from Montgomery Wards. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that either. But it gives Fip something to do because I don't know. I don't really know what he does anyways. What? So for you younger generation, Montgomery Wards was a thing called a department store. When you wanted something, you got in the car and you drove to a store that was a physical store. You had to open the door and go in and everything. And there you would buy your goods, whether it was a little moped like this or shirts or a suit for uh, Sunday times, you know, or what have you. You had to actually get out of your house, off your freaking couch and go and get something for yourself. I know it's a weird concept, but it worked for a very, very long time. And uh, I actually hate the fact that you can do everything from your couch. Get up, go do something. You'd be surprised. Put on a new suit at the store, look at yourself in the mirror, feel accomplished like you did something, and then try to figure out how to pay for it. Fucking inflation. So let's go see what else showed up this week because it's been pretty busy, especially for winter. All right, so a few minutes ago, a guy came up and uh, said he had a business around the corner, said somebody uh, left this uh, at one of his locations many years ago, and he's just now getting around to selling it. And uh, it's 1931 Model A four-door sedan um, looks pretty clean fold-out windshield looks like it's all there um, what am I gonna do with it I have no idea but uh, I gave him a couple of dollars for it and uh, just stick it up for sale but if anybody knows how to get these running it's Phipps so he'll do that see if it runs if not we're just gonna sell it so we do here we buy and sell cars imagine that <laughs> Paint up your car. It's not my car. It. Where did it come from? Uh, the security. I, I think it came Saturday. The security guys let the guy in. They, they didn't call you. Well, I don't know what it is. What, what do you, you know? What this is? It's well, Buick? I know it's a, it's a Riviera seventy one. It's got the yeah. It's got the uh, trunk lid with the fins in it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't remember buying. 
Well, it looks pretty clean. Wrong place. Interiors are not bad. Split leather a little bit. But no, it takes very minimal to get it running. So you've already gone through it? Yeah. I, I, yeah. What do I got? Runs and drives. 455? Uh, huh? 455? 455. Uh, yeah. And it runs and drives? Yeah. It's really nice. And the motor looks good. Well, whoever did the clear job on the repaint really sucked. Yeah, well, the car was gold at one time. Phipps, I'm telling you, I really have no idea where this car came from. Well, it's it's got Kansas on the teeth chain, so it came from Kansas, I guess. I'm gonna have to go check the records. I mean, if it showed up, What's I guess what? I bought it. Do you know some silly stuff I do in the evenings or in the night when I'm pinging on the old yeah. interwebs? So Look, power you did steering, it. power brakes, and AC. Whoever did it. That looks like a new water pump. Did you do that? Oh yeah, I had to. It was froze up. Oh, yeah. uh, I got a little booger on it, but look at this. I guess this is okay. So the water pump was locked up. Take it off. Look at this. Look at this stuff. I guess it was stop leak. That's what it's supposed to look like. But look at this. Look at the motor. And I was lucky. Only uh, three bolts broke. Oh no. You did all this without me telling you what to do on a car that you didn't know anything about? You just like took initiative? Yeah. Son of a gun, you're gonna make a good guy yet. <laughs> no. I'm sure glad you liked it. <laughs> it could have gone the other way real fast. I know, right? Well, uh, yeah, it, it does okay. I mean, I didn't even have to put a battery in. It had a battery at it. So it just needed a water pump and 20, stuff. 2019, I guess somebody got it running and the water pump was froze up, so they stopped. Uh, there was a couple of snap bolts that we had to dig out, but hey, uh, it, it's been as good a car as that one, as far as getting going. Well, that one's sold, so I guess I'm gonna have to figure out A, where I got this, and B, what I paid for it. I hope and you then, got the title. And, the, and then we'll put it up for sale. Um, I mean, it wasn't something somebody dropped off and don't leave it here. It's pretty straight. It doesn't look very rusty. Yeah, uh, there's some spots there. But no, no. Hmm. All right, I'll I'll fi it. finish what you're doing and then uh, let's take it for a ride. Okay. All right. Call me when you're done. Okay, I'll go I talk will. to Daphne and see where it came from. Uh, Son of a bitch, I can't believe I buy cars and forget about it. Well, right. scoot on over. You're not driving. You said you made it run and drive. I'm going to tell you who's right driving. Now. Oh, the door works. Right here. My opal hubcaps. <laughs> you couldn't have put some tape up here? But uh, no, I want you to. I thought it'd be funny if you low rided it. <laughs> Damn it. Reverse works. Yep. Neutral works. We ain't going nowhere, are we? Not yet. Okay. Drive works. It does. Power steering feels pretty good. Yeah. It makes a little noise on the edges. Well, when you. Why do you got the heater on? I don't. Do I? It's a nice day, dude. I don't know. I was playing with the bug when you scared the crap out. This uh, is really bothering me, Phipps. What is this? It's, it's headliner. That's the insulation that went up there. You want me to ride like this? Yeah, will you hold it up for me? Fuck. Like Enos holding his fucking dad's yeah, hat on? Yeah, hold my hat, boy. <laughs> okay. Hold my hat. <laughs> Dad gum, this thing feels pretty good. Yeah. Brakes feel good. 455, I mean. I'm yeah. just kidding, you don't have to hold that the whole time. Oh, well you better start low riding it, because here it comes. Let's go. <laughs> oh man. Just poop stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Did it get on me? Alright. Oh, no, oh, look at him. No, I got <laughs> ah! <laughs> the hell man. You couldn't have used some gaff tape or something? I don't know. I wasn't quite through playing with it. But why don't we roll up the windows? Maybe that'll help. Oh yeah, good idea. These are those, uh, these are those two 360 windows. It actually feels pretty tech up decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to hold that. Woo! Did you hear that scratch? Oh shit, I forgot about the tilt wheel. Look at that. You know what we used to call this when I was a kid? Styling and profiling. Profile. 
That's right. That was way before your time as a kid. What was the, what was the other one? Or way after your time Slam as a kid. Slamming doors and... Oh, no, 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 no. That was way after your time. <laughs> and then, you know, what do they say when you were a kid? Like, doo-wop and bebop? I don't remember. Hornworks. Radio's got an equalizer look, on it. Now, look. There's one here, too. What? Yeah. Unbelievable. I know. I can see through the rear view mirror. Where's this one? I haven't found it. Let's see. Not in here. Pair of pliers. This does not hurt my feelings, Phillips. Yeah. Cut the headliner. Yeah, you got to get it all leaned down out of the headliner area. Getting my gangster lean on. I remember watching my dad put these uh, yeah. steering wheel covers on so patiently, <laughs> getting it all just right, lined up just right. Well, it's still on his car, isn't it? This Mustang? Might still be. I don't know. I'd have to go look. What do you think? You think it'll do a... Will it do a burnout? I don't know. Check your brakes. Real good. Big old bitch, isn't it? It's a big old bitch. Well, uh, that's a yes. Is this messing up my hair? I it's feel got, like I'm doing this. Dust all. Look at this. It's I all know. over you. I feel like I'm doing this. I just vacuum this thing. With that. It's out a little out high fifths. Might have knocked the vacuum line off. <laughs> Why don't you fix that idle? I will. Well, beside having to lean over to get all the dust out of my hair from the headliner. Whew. Let me dust my shoulders off. So uh pretty rad actually. For a car that I didn't know I had, I actually went in and talked to Dabby. She said we bought it like uh, two months ago, forgot to pick it up. She just went ahead and handled getting it picked up and delivered to the shop. And then uh, Phipps, without being told or asked, I'm sorry, I can't tell an old man what to do, asked. Um, <laughs> Bullshit. Dude, we got a nice car, dude. Look at that. We made a round block with that tire. Hmm. Look. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's a problem, Phipps. Yeah, the rear main leaking looks like. Are we talking about your uh, doctor problems or are we talking about the car? Uh, I don't know, look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, back her up on the piece of shit row. We'll get some pictures well, it's tomorrow. It's not a piece of shit. It's not a piece of shit, but it's leaking. Well, I don't want to do anything more than that because anybody that buys this car is going to fix it up, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. rebuild it customize it whatever but it's a straight car with very minimal rust for one of these and, the and it's got 100 percent complete it's got every freaking thing on it the trunks looks good all right well back it over there we'll get pictures in the morning good job phipps yeah. you live another day and you <laughs> might get a paycheck this weekend Woo